This is the story of Rosie Revere, who dreamed of becoming a great engineer. Kelly Matthews is on a mission to get more girls interested in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. And that mission begins at home with her nine-month-old daughter. I want her to look at things and wonder how they tick and know that if she looks at something and says, wouldn't it be cool if it could do that, that she can make it do that. The U.S. Department of Commerce estimates women make up less than 25 percent of the STEM workforce. Matthews, one of only two female engineers in her company, feels that a lack of encouragement at a young age is a big reason. I mean, you can be cool and you can be smart and you don't have to choose sides. It's home scientist. It's a concept the Girl Scouts have been embracing for years. I think science is really fun and it lets you explore the world. Today's badges reflect the organization's commitment of encouraging girls to pursue cutting-edge careers. Now we have over 30 STEM badges, everything from coding to engineering to computer science. The light sensor option doesn't work. And while the term STEM is relatively new, there's been an explosion of tech camps attracting a growing number of girls. And careers in those fields are helping to narrow the wage gender gap. Employers can get more involved in educational programs uh, at the high school level, create sh job shadowing programs, create experiences for young women to get more involved in STEM programs and see that there are careers around that. As for Matthews, she hopes that by starting early, her daughter will know a career in STEM is well within her reach. Joseph Frederick, Associated Press, New York. <laughs>